So guys, I'd never gone vegan before. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie. One time I did eat Caesar salad without the bacon, and I I felt like Greta Thunberg. See the music. My first vegan meal, I'm gonna make iced coffee. So first you add the ice into the mason jar. It's really easy. <laughs> I grab my K-cup. I usually start my day off with 5 to 17 espresso shots on ice, but I didn't feel like seizing today. Today's video is sponsored by Next, syrup. I grab my malt vinegar. I place in a syrup container so people don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> I just like the tank. And lastly, I added my soy milk, which is what I call 2% milk, because I dump out the soy milk and I replace it with 2% milk. Come on, guys. It's, I'm still mostly vegan. We vegans all slip up sometimes and accidentally step on a bug or order a double quarter pounder from McDonald's because you swear it said tofu. One hour in. I'm already enjoying like the simpler things in life like that tree over there and the grass and that cricket mating with the snail like, even the sky looks brighter oh wait no did I forget my sunglasses? <laughs> guys literally a bug just like flew on my head and like onto my nose and I just like let it sit there and like go into my mouth and I let it kind of go down my throat and and I ate a bug I <laughs> we gather here today to remember an unidentifiable Swap. Yeah, sorry, I should have gotten a closer look. It, it had like short legs, it, it had like wings. The closest I can think of is like maybe it was like a fly mosquito hybrid. Oh, like, those are rare. Those are rare. <laughs> they can see you, right? Yeah, they can see you. How long have you been vegan for? Second question, is it true that whenever you walk into McDonald's, you begin to feel violently ill, fall to the ground, and start seizing uncontrollably, then protest the consumption of animal meat? <sighs> <laughs> Is that yes or no? No. Okay, third question. Burger. What? Ah, oh, darn it, I thought he was flinch. <laughs> Alright, well I thought this interview would be a little more interesting. You can go. You're so annoying. So guys, I was gonna have avocado toast for lunch, but... <laughs> it's way too hard. Guys, I can't eat another hard avocado. Because last time I ate one, all my teeth fell out. Oh yeah, these are just take tests. They're little Nespresso pods. <laughs> Why did I do that? Brogies? And I also have some spinach. Now usually I don't get spinach from the grocery store. I just go straight to the forest and just kind of eat the grass. But it does upset my stomach. Don't look at me! Does anyone have a leaf? Or a bidet? Please stop staring at me! Oh my gosh, that possum wants to mate with me. No, that would be a really weird season of Teen Mom. Hey guys, and welcome back to my Food Network show. Right off the bat, just seeing there's a pierogi. It is skin color. This is more like me in the winter without sun. Mm, what am I getting? Pierogi. Sorry, right, ma'am. Are these are these plant based? And you said that this is it's cruelty free, right? Sorry, is this cat for sale? Dad, no. Are these dairy free? Sorry, and were these grapes grass fed? I feel great. I feel lighter. I feel more one with the earth. Like it's just, it's so easy to just stick to a vegan diet. What? No, how did, that's not me eating a turkey subway wrap. It's not. How dare you accuse me of digging into the Costco chicken? That's not me. That's obviously CGI. What in the avatar is going on here? Oh, now that I'm vegan, I'm really admiring the trees. Even just this. Just take a little thing of this, spit on it a little bit. It tastes like Caesar salad. 